Kong was about the people, it's not about the place. It's a collection of different personalities, a collection of different cultures, so many different people coming together and trying to build a living. Coming into the DRC, I was expecting extreme poverty and civil war and civil unrest, but what we came over and saw was, you know, it's a beautiful land. It's amazing, you know, when we started this, people, so many people have said to us, don't do it, it's too hard, Congo's too difficult. It's not about what's wrong, there's danger everywhere, and there's a chance to be part of what's right and part of what's good, and we had an opportunity to help a lot of nice people. It's singing, awesome. <laughs> A place like Congo, unless you've got some feet on the ground, it's very difficult to A, really comprehend what's going on, and B, really be able to execute effectively. <laughs> Coming here for the first time was seeing if we're able to do a mission here. And partnering with ECI allowed us to be able to make that happen. Partnerships are crucial to seeing progress. Having somebody like Ben Affleck on ECI gives these partners a platform to say, look, listen to what's going on in Congo, listen to the difficulties that we've had, but more importantly, look at the opportunity that's in front of us and how can we partner to make these up, turn these into reality. I had heard that the radio uh, in this region is very powerful. As a testimony to how effective it is, you could tell us about some of the people who are admirers of your program. And how many people does the radio reach with listening to the radio? At least three million people. Uh, three million. million. You've got to meet the people. You've got to laugh with them. <laughs> You've got to hear them talk about their problems. You've got to drink a soda with them and hear them talk about their families. To understand that, hey, this is a place where people live, where people are enjoying themselves, where people are trying to make a living for themselves and also for their kids. It happens everywhere we go that there are good people who want to help people and it makes our world better. It's a Congolese spirit. I mean, it's all over the place. There's just this extraordinary sort of spirit and desire to make their world better. So we're excited to be doing whatever we can to help them do that. <laughs> I look at Congo and I see the next frontier. I think that my grandkids will love being in Congo and I can sit back and say, you know what, I was there when when things were starting to get on the up and up. And we worked with some great people and we were able to contribute a little bit to that. I think the future of Congo is really bright.